around the Americas now, thousands of young migrants are making the treacherous journey to Europe in search of a better life there. But instead, many of them are falling victim to human traffickers. Students in Abu Dhabi are using the arts to educate their peers about the growing problem. Becky Anderson has this installment of the CNN Freedom Project. for the technical problems we'll be back right in 2011 we at edof planted a seed with the aim of creating an ever-expanding forest we nurtured that seed and helped it grow inspired by the ethics of giving our seed grew into a strong tree branches emerged with similar aims of compassion humanitarianism and love we spread our seeds to help even more people as blessed is the influence of one true loving human soul on another. In Syria, our aim is to provide relief to 12 million in need, 3.8 million refugees, about half of whom are children. We use our reach to raise awareness of the 30 million slaves in the world today, of the thousands of children trafficked through Europe and the US. We continue to grow into cutting edge medical research. Our mission, make a difference to people's health, save lives and support NGOs that plant more seeds. I learned a long time ago when I was first confronted with outrageous behavior in places like the Balkans, when one side was slaughtering another because of its ethnic and religious definition, I learned that as a journalist, I could not be morally equivalent, and nor could I present false factual equivalents. I insist on being truthful, not neutral. Welcome back. As we were telling you before the break, students in Abu Dhabi are trying their best to make sure their peers in the world know more about the problem of human trafficking. Our Becky Anderson has this installment of the CNN Freedom Project. Millions displaced in Europe's refugee crisis. Among them, children and teenagers, thousands of whom are now feared to have fallen into the hands of traffickers. I saw it. The island told me we needed to be. I got excited and I turned around to tell my mama that we were finally here. Mama? Syrian student Noor Ramsey dramatized the story of one teenage refugee who arrives in Germany alone. Your mama is buried in the Mediterranean. A passionate performance with a serious point. Theater and art um, is one of the most powerful ways to show people what is, is hidden. When emotion is provoked, um, there's catharsis and then there's motivation to go out and do something about it. This is why students at the American Community School in Abu Dhabi are using performance to spread the word about issues like modern day slavery. From public speaking about the enormity of the problem to shocking their public into seeing just how widespread it is. Common way for people to get marked as owned is getting tattooed. So if you were stamped on the way in, please stand up. <laughs> imagine, imagine you have all disappeared. These high school students have devised dramatic ways to get their message across. The school's advanced theatre class is using a technique called verbatim drama. After interviewing victims and those who help them, they are bringing those testimonies to life. They think that they're going to get a job to work in a beauty parlour or a massage salon or get a job as a flight attendant, 
But that person that's selling them this idea is actually planning to sell them into slavery. I think that as a student, we should be the ones that know the most about this because we're the ones who are still learning and are in school. But we, before this topic, we had no idea about any of the statistics and like how many people are still in slavery today. I believe that performance can show a lot of people that these stories are real and since it's a verbatim play it's everything the people we interviewed said word by word so we didn't make anything up it's all real the trees, it feels like other students have found their voice in a different way these sixth graders even composed their own song about freedom, freedom to be who I am, with no one there to Students here understand that if all the world's a stage these days, then all the world's an audience too. So a little performance can go a long way in helping to raise awareness about what is this global scourge. Take it away, girls. So high and free. March 14th is My Freedom Day, CNN partnering with young people around the world for a student-led day of action against modern-day slavery. Driving My Freedom Day is a simple question. What does freedom mean to you? Freedom is being able to pursue your independence and your long-wanted dream by having the rights of real education for all of us. Freedom means to me the ability to choose the life I want to live and to bring freedom to others. Freedom, the ability to fulfill your potential and follow your dreams regardless of where they lead. We want to hear what freedom means to you, too. Post a photo or video using the hashtag MyFreedomDay.